Okay, now we're in the second half of designing a lead controller. Doing, you know, the, we're doing an example of designing a lead controller, um, and we're through step one, which was find this case of not to meet. In our case, it was a steady state error. So through step one, we've got this case of not. Now we want to find where to put the pole and the zero to meet a phase margin spec. Uh, and actually we weren't given the phase margin spec directly. We're given, in our example, a peak overshoot spec. Uh, so that's where we start step two. Well, after step one, we, we only had a phase margin of 18 degrees. We'll see if that's enough to meet our peak overshoot spec. Um, Step two is to find the required uh, phase margin. Uh, for a peak overshoot, okay, we're looking at this axis, peak overshoots, blue line, said 25 degrees or 25% peak overshoot. That's there, go over, it's about there, go down. It's about, we need about 45 degrees of phase margin. Um, and, and we weren't meeting that. We only had 18 degrees. So we're going to need a controller to add some more phase mark to add more phase. The the phase margin spec could have come from other performance specs like a resonant peak spec or an effective damping ratio based on a prototype second order system. Um, we might do another example where we use those specs, but for now we need a phase margin of forty five degrees. So now we can get busy calculating. We need to calculate how much phase does the controller need to add. That is this little formula, which would go in a formula sheet. It's the amount of required phase margin minus how much phase margin we already had, plus 10 degrees to account for various approximation settings. So in our case, it's 45 minus 18. If we use MATLAB, we use our eyeball it would be minus 20. The phase margin was 18 or 20. We subtract it and add the 10 degrees extra. There we get 37 degrees, bump it up to the nearest five degrees. So we get our fee sub M of 40 degrees. That's how much the controller needs to add. And from there, we can calculate A from another formula. Plug it into this formula, I come up with 4.6, round it up to the next uh, whole number. We'll say A equals five. So we've got our A. Got our phase margin, we've got our A. Uh, step five is choosing P and Z, but we need to do that in little B steps. Here's a little formula based on the A that gives us how much more of a dB gap. To use that formula with that A of five, we need to, we need to go seven dB down from our reference point. So say this is the Bode plot, F, including the case of not. We need to come down another seven dB which is kind of hard to see because it's 50 dB increments, but we'll say it's about there. Uh, and this, this little line is where the blue line would meet at 7 dB down. That's about six radians. That's our omega sub M. This, by the way, is where my students had the most trouble. They, they just wanted to plug in a formula and come up with a number. You can't do that. You need to read the Bode plot. You can come up with this gap by a formula, but then you have to read the Bode plot to know what omega sub m is. If we hadn't redrawn Bode, remember here was our new reference line because we increased the gain. And we need to come down yet another 70 B. So go across, where does that cross the blue line? 
down there. Omega sub m is about six radians per second. So now that we have that, we can use more formulas. Here's a formula for the z. Here's a formula for the p. We now have the omega sub m. We have the a. Crank it out, and you get numbers. Let's see. The c is a 2.7. The p is a 13.5. Put that in the here. Simplify it, and here is our lead controller. This is a little maybe too precise. It would be okay to round off a little bit, three and 15. Uh, you, you still want the 15 to be a factor of five greater than three. The A needs to hold. This would be okay as well as this. We're done with the first dot in a lead controller. At this point, step six, you're checking it out with MATLAB. Um, so here's, Here's the new forward path gate. It's this product, the controller and the original plant. Here's the original plant. Here's the controller. Here's a whole new forward path uh, gain or transfer function. It has a case of V error constant of 10, which is what we want it to be, the steady state error spec. When you put it in MATLAB, it says we got a phase margin of 53. He said we only required 45, so we're meeting the phase margin spec. Uh, if you weren't, we would have to do some iteration. Uh, you could further check it out in MATLAB and see if you actually meet your peak overshoot spec, which was the real spec. Um, our spec was 25%. We're under 20%. So we're meeting our specs with a, with a good little margin of error. We're not overly exceeding them, but we're, we are exceeding them by a little bit. So everything's good. We don't need to iterate. Uh, we're done with that example. I'll do another example where we do need to iterate and I'll save that for another video.